Today I'm going to talk about something a little different. Um, I'm going to talk more about more about game theory than a specific favorite mechanism in a game. But uh, just to keep in line with the series, we'll say that today's favorite mechanism is about Raiders of the Lost Ark, the movie, which I saw um, in the theater the other day uh, at one of these uh, symphony-like concerts where they there's a live symphony and they play the music of the, of the movie. And, was, and you get to watch the movie too. It was awesome. Um, but I was reminded when I watched Raiders of the Lost Ark that uh, one of my favorite things that both books and movies, some of my favorite books and movies do really well, is to start with a, an action-packed, dramatic, uh, big, exciting scene. Um, so uh, in Raiders of the Lost Ark, you can probably picture it in your head, it's the scene where Indiana Jones... Um, walks into a into a I think it's a Mayan um, a Mayan temple or tomb and it's got the boulder that that crashes after him and he he takes the the uh, the idol off the golden idol off and, and switches it on a bag of sand for it and takes it it's a very dramatic scene it, it captures your attention right away so there's no like you're not slowly introduced to the character of Indiana Jones you're not you don't have to go through all these scenes before you get to that scene. They happen after that. The movie starts with a bang, basically. I was also reminded of this when I started reading uh, the latest John Scalzi book. Uh, he came out with a book called Collapsing Empire the other day. And his books have a ton of world building that go into them that you learn throughout the, throughout the book. Um, but the first scene of the book is a hugely dramatic scene. It's a super exciting scene. It throws you right into the action, and you're right there in the middle of this world right away, even though you don't understand all the things that are happening or the, or the scope of the world. All that matters is that you're in this really exciting scene to start off the book. And whenever I read a book that has a scene like that, I want to know more uh, right away. I'm, I'm in the book. I'm fully immersed in the book due to that. Whereas if I get like a sample of a book on my Kindle and the first and the sample chapter is kind of just a slow introduction of characters and slow introduction of the world, um, I'm, not as I'm not as easily hooked in that type of book. Um, and so, back to bring this back to game design, I was trying to think of a game, whether it's a Euro game or a narrative game, that really starts with a bang in the way that Raiders of the Lost Ark does, or Collapsing Empire, or really any of Brandon Sanderson's books. He does it really, really well in his books, um, and many other movies. And I couldn't think of one. Um, and, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Maybe we can, maybe we can brainstorm and think of one that exists. Uh, but most of, the game, most of the narrative games that I play start off slow um, and then more bad, more, usually with cooperative games, more bad stuff happens. I guess Pandemic, in a way, starts off with a bang because right away at the beginning of the game, you start out with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of virus cubes on the board. So right away, bad stuff has happened. You have to deal with it. I wouldn't say it's uh, it adds the same level of immersion and uh, and dram a drama that that a movie like Raiders of the Lost Ark does. Um, but it's also a movie. You can't necessarily compare it to a board game. Um, but I also I was also thinking in terms of Euro games. Um, most of them start off slow, and you're building an engine, and that's okay. I love that about Euro games. I'm not saying this this is a bad thing about those games at all. Um, but I'm wondering if it would be possible in a Euro game to start out with a big dramatic moment and then you have the build up after that. So the big dramatic thing that throws you into the game, you're not prepared for it, you just kind of have to deal with it, you do your best with it. Maybe it's more, uh, there's a lot more tactics than strategy in that, that first 10 minutes of the game or five minutes of the game and then you have the rest of the game. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I and, and obviously, mostly, I'm thinking about it in terms of narrative games, where uh, where you're thrown into the story and you and you have to uh, you have to respond to it, you you have to experience it, you have to act and make decisions within that space, even though you don't fully understand everything else that's going on in, within the narrative or within the story. Um, and so, yeah, I was thinking about other cooperative games that do it because a lot of cooperative games have great storytelling el elements, um, but most of them are are slow increase of of, of bad stuff. Um, so yeah, I, obviously I'm stumbling through this. I couldn't think of any great examples for, for uh, games that use this same mechanism that movies and books do so well, of starting off with a very dramatic scene, starting off with a bang, full immersion into the story, 
um, and into the world, even though you don't understand everything. Uh, so if you have any examples that you can think of that this might apply to the world of board games, whether it's Euro games or, or, or uh, thematic narrative driven games, I'd love to hear it in the comments. And uh, I know it'll help me as a designer if you come up with some great examples, because I'd love to apply this mechanism that I love in books and movies to this other world I love of board games. I look forward to hearing what you say. Thanks.